Hey guys, Joe here. Today, I'm pleased to review a beautiful set of speakers. I have here a pair of Von Schreichert VR4SR. When you, back in 2008, they retailed for over $10,000. I was lucky enough to find these literally brand new in the year 2023. The previous owner had these sitting in his house, brand new, for years when he finally decided to let them go. They were still even factory wrapped. I got them for a fraction of what they were new. I did have to drive 18 hours round trip for them, but it was so worth it. The VR4SR are absolutely beautiful speakers that look like they mean serious business. I mean, just look how, look at their depth. That's, that's crazy. I like the two section design meaning there's a top section that houses the highs and the low section for the lows. The top section sits on these little cones that look pretty cool. There's also a rear tweeter that's meant to create a 3D sound, hence the name VR Virtual Reality. You also get a dial knob to control the level of the rear tweeter. I have mine set to zero because I listen to a lot of heavy metal and it, it can be pretty bright having the rear tweeter blasting, but when I'm hearing jazz or the Beatles, I crank the tweeter up and it sounds phenomenal. I also like the angles of the speaker. It's a work of art. The VR4SR is very customizable in the way you power them. Each section can be independently powered. So for example, you can run a tube amp for the highs and a solid state for the lows. Or as I'm doing a single high current solid state amplifier. And you do have to run these speakers in a double by wire mode. So you basically need two sets of speaker cables per side. So for the highs, I have this old Cardus speaker cable. It's one of the warmest cables that I own, but it creates a really warm sound on the highs. And for the lows, I got an AutoQuest Clear. It's a nine gauge, so it really adds emphasis to the lows. So to power these speakers, I'm using a John Curl Parasound A21 amplifier. It's a brute of an amp that can power anything. Then for the preamp, I got a Peter Madnick Auto Alchemy DDP1. It's a digital analog converse slash preamp. So it's a pretty minimalistic setup that sounds really good. And my source is an old PC. I know PCs aren't the best source as they can have a lot of background noise, but this is my living room setup. It's meant for casual listening. My reference system is in another room. Well, that's my system. I do wish I can demo these so you guys can hear how it sounds, but I have crappy recording equipment that's gonna sound like crap, so why bother? Down the line, I'll get better recording equipment. Now, on to my listening impressions. So, my first initial impression of the VR4SR is just how incredible the sound is. It truly is a reference level speaker. I just can't believe how well they sound. The body that the bass produces slams you. The impact that the lows create literally shakes the floor, all while having tightness, accuracy, and non-boominess. The bass goes down to an outstanding 20 hertz. And the mid-range is where these really shine. The mid-range is just cutthroat meaty. It just cuts through the air with so much body and presence. The highs are non-fatiguing and crystal clear, 
and it makes for a wonderful 3D sound. There's dimensions to the vocals. I'm just shocked how good these are. I can literally feel emotion through the VR4SR. The speakers also produce incredible instrument separation. And yeah, these just create a holographic sound. The sound stage they create is just reference level. I definitely would use these speakers to show off to a group of friends because they look so cool and they sound incredible. I've had guests over and had these playing in the background and everyone was engaged to the music. Well, to summarize, they, they are stunners. They are hot rod speakers. I can listen to these for days. They are neutral. They aren't rich or overly sweet. They are reference speakers that you can buy used for two to three thousand dollars. If you find a set of these or an older model, buy them. They may just be the last speaker you'll ever need. Well, that's all I have for you guys. If you enjoyed watching the video, please like and subscribe. And do subscribe because I have a bunch of cool other stuff that I want to show you. Take care. Bye.